Hi YouTube, what's going on guys? It's your boy Keeks, and today I am going to talk about whether Black Ops 3 is a good game or a bad game, and whether you should buy it or not. First of all, I just wanted to say that I'm playing Advanced Warfare. Yes I am, I'm sorry about that, but it had to be done, I was bored, okay? There's no Black Ops 3, and I'm just here waiting for Black Ops 3 this whole time. And it just feels like it's so long since I haven't played it and I just want to go on Black Ops 3 and start playing again. I miss it so much. But I don't want to get off topic here. So let's get right into the video. So mostly everybody's concern with Black Ops 3 is whether the movement system is like Advanced Warfare because of exosuits. But I'm just telling you right now, these in Black Ops 3, I think they're called thrust, thrust jumps. These are not exos, okay? They are nothing close to what Advanced Warfare's movement is. This is closer to Black Ops 2's movement system. So if you are worried about the movement system, you shouldn't be because it just flows really well and you don't have to worry about it. Once you get used to the movement, you're you're gonna be pretty pretty set. And it's not really as fast paced as Advanced Warfare was honestly it's slow pace I think it's slower pace than Black Ops 2 to be honest but yeah not really a big problem with the movement system weapon balance on the beta was pretty it was pretty good for a beta I mean they got to fixing things right away because the M8 was overpowered overused in the beginning but Treyarch decided to fix it and I mean it's pretty good man of war it's it's pretty good but you can still get outgunned by a bunch of guns if you know how to use them well so weapon balance wasn't really a problem except for like two guns that were really underrated and underpowered moving on to score streaks uh, score streaks were really good in this game they were very viable like in black ops 2 and black ops 1 they were really good Nothing like Advanced Warfare and Ghost. Advanced Warfare and Ghost, they were they were so bad. Just remembering, I can't even remember the score streaks because of how bad they were. Nobody really used them. And you know, a lot of people go on pubs to get score streaks and for the past two Call of Duties, they weren't there. And that's one of the things that Call of Duty is known for, getting score streaks and not having good score streaks kind of killed Call of Duty for the past two years. The beta had some lag issues, but one of my major issues was the black hat. I could literally go on and rant about this thing for like hours, like I could keep going on and on about this thing. It's so annoying, like some newbie kid can just take your score streak without even trying when you tried your butt off to get it. But yeah, that's the only problem with it. Specialists, they're perfectly fine, I mean I don't have a problem with them. Rejack is the only one, but, you know, it's in the game. Maybe they'll patch it even more. I don't know, because in the beta they already patched it. Something with, once you rejack, you can't use your score streaks, or they they reset your points on the score streaks. But, you know, overall, this game is really good so far. Not really many problems, and if you're thinking about buying it, yes, buy it. Don't even say no. Just go to GameStop, buy it, get it play it and i guarantee you you will have the time of your life and yeah that is it for this video if you're looking forward to buying black ops 3 go buy it when it comes out or if it's already out when you're watching this video go buy it it will be fun and yeah that's it goodbye thank you guys so much for watching my video if you guys liked it don't forget to leave a like and also don't forget to subscribe stay sexy everybody